Hey guys, it's your man, Mad Mike, also known as Fusion Smog. In today's video, we're going to go over smoke theory. Now, in this video about smoke theory, I'm going to show you how you should be using smokes and what kind of things you should have on your classes that are going to be using smokes. All right, guys, in this section of the video, we're going to go over my rule number one and my rule number two for using smokes. Rule number one is your classes should have incognito on. So class three and four will be my smoke classes. As you can see, they both have incognito on. All right, rule number two. When you're using an AR and smokes, your AR should have thermal on. As you can see, my AR does in fact have thermal on. Now, the reason for this is that you want to be able to see through your smoke. If you don't have thermal on, you won't be able to see through it. I know you're probably saying, I don't like the thermal site. That's fine. You can switch out of the thermal site into the other site and you'll be able to see as if you had a red dot. All right, guys, for this rule, we're going to go over how smokes can be decoys. So the first kind of decoy that we're going to go over is planting decoys. You throw a smoke out, enemy instantly thinks you're going to be planting the bomb. What this does is this baits all their stuns and their grenades on the bomb site. It will even probably give a, give away a few positions of the enemy players as they try to shoot down on the B bomb site. All right, so for this kind of decoy, we're gonna smoke the mid street. Now what we're doing here is we've never smoked the mid street any of the rounds before and we've gone B every round. Now that we've done that, the opponent is gonna think that we're trying to do something different. Maybe they think we're trying to come from hardware and flank them in the side. Maybe they think we're going to run straight up the street. Maybe they think we're going to break the gate and attack them from the side like that. Whatever it is, is it slows down our opponent and it makes them steady their gun. They just L-trigger behind things waiting for something to happen. What that does is that allows us more time to get in position and we might even be able to switch up our play. It really depends on us. It's really just something that's going to allow us to get a more advantageous location because we've tricked the enemy out and we've stalled them. All right, now the last kind of decoy is the fake play decoy. This kind of decoy is something along the lines of, let's say we're going to go to the A bomb site. Now every time we've ever gone to the A bomb site, we've thrown a smoke over this building and we've smoked out the back side. What you're going to have is this round, you're going to have one teammate come over here, he's going to throw a smoke, and then he's going to run away, while the rest of our team goes B. What this has done is that it's made our opponent think we're going A, because that's something that we always do when we have smokes. Whenever we smoke A, we go A. However, this time we go B, they fall for the bait, or the decoy, they go A, we're at B, we plant the bomb. All right, in this rule, we're going to talk about how you want to refrain from smoking on top of yourselves. Now, the biggest time a po somebody on your team is going to smoke on top of you is when they do this. Say, smoke out my B-bomb, and they, they just throw that smoke. That smoke sucks ass. I'm going to tell you why. So, you've smoked out this entire area, so this whole thing right here, this giant semicircle here, this was completely smoked out. Now, if an opponent on the enemy team had incog, and you were trying to plant the bomb, he could just run up, blast you in the face, and run right back away. Nobody would be the wiser, and you'd be down a guy. That's terrible. You never want to smoke right on top of yourself. Alright, another thing that we're going to talk about is that when you're throwing a smoke, you always want to give yourself some space. Now, we were just talking about how you never want to throw smoke on top of yourself. What you want to do is something along these lines. You want to throw smoke like that, it gives yourself this nice gap of space so if anyone pushes through that had incognito on, you still have the chance to mow them down, but at the same time, you can L-trigger these openings that you know the locations of with your thermal, and you can get the kill. Alright, and last but not least, is not running through smokes. Now, this is something that I know I've done every now and then, but you really don't want to do this. You don't want to throw a smoke and then just run straight through it. Now there are some exceptions to this rule, but the main reason is because when you come out on the other side of the smoke, for all you know, there's a guy like this aiming up with his gun, 
waiting, waiting, just waiting to blow your freaking face out. And that's probably what's going to happen. Now, a few exceptions to this are early setups. Specifically, something like on this map. You know that you can get around this area before, before they can kill you, but they'll be able to see you. So if you throw a smoke, you can run into it if you know where you're going, and you can get in, you can hide. In this way, they still know that you're most likely in the area, but they didn't see where you ran to. Where before they would have known that you ran into post, they would have known that you ran into loading. Alright, so what you want to do, instead of running through smokes, is you want to try to find an alternate route. And what you want is the smoke is going to actually just kind of cause a distraction, or it's going to... It's going to cut off some of the point of view. So you see here, I'm going to throw a smoke, and it's going to block that area out. Now instead of running through that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through water, creating a close quarter gun battle right here. If anyone's here, I have a sub. Boom, another close quarter gun battle. Another one, and, a, and some more here. See, what I did there with the smoke is that I cut down this large AR lane, making it so nobody can pick me like that. Then I sectioned myself off into various areas where the gun that I was using became superior, and I created a rush. So that's how you want to use smoke. Alright guys, it's your main man Mike, also known as Fusion Smog. I hope you guys enjoyed the video about smoke theory. I hope that you guys are going to be able to take something away and learn from what I've learned. I'll see you guys later.